Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the International Farmer. It is the 7th of April, 2022, and we don't have much to look at today. We have about, I believe, like 10 mods and one update. And uh, <laughs> slim pickings on what we're going to call the showcase. So we're going to just call this butt ugly thing the showcase today. This is the Lizard self-made tow truck by Agrotron Modding. It's not very easy on the eyes, but hey. Uh, it'll get the job done, possibly. I don't know. We're about to find out. But uh, let's take a look at it here in the mod selection customizations. This is, again, by Agrotron Modding. Driving a car allows you to quickly travel from A to B, but in this case, you can also haul things from A to B. It's going to cost you $35,000, 300 horsepower, manual transmission, 120 liter fuel tank, 74 miles per hour, weighing 2.6 ton. Uh, we do have a standard wheel set up, standard two. All it's going to be is the different rims on that actual trailer, which is already in the game, uh, but he's kind of connected it to the truck that's in the game. And then you got your standard three, which is the different rims on the truck, and then a different selection there, standard four, back to standard. Main color, we got all the colors in the game, and then rim color change that up as well with your license plate on the front and the rear right there all right let's go test it out uh, i did get a call someone called and said their old tractor broke down over by the bakery here on the main street so we got to hurry up and get that thing off the road all right lights on and with it being a tow truck you think they'd put a darn beacon on top but unfortunately no beacon but we'll just have to run with the flashers, I suppose. Off we go. And there she is. Got an old broke down tractor. Logging up the highway here. Gonna give it a little jump so it'll at least start. All right, as you see, we are able to unfold. Get that emergency brake on. Make sure she's strapped down. All right. Hold her back down. And we have just saved the day. We have just saved the day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and there you go. That's one way to uh, do a little role play towing service, I suppose. Park it up right here for now and check out the rest of today's mods. So there you go. That's the Lizard self-made tow truck by Agrotron Modding. All right, let's take a look at what else we got out there. By the way, don't forget to hit the like button. Hit subscribe if it's your first time watching. Uh, we got a pretty short video, so let's uh, check out the next one, which is the Crone Swadro 395. This is by BGamer003. It's a wind rower, arranges the grass, hay, or straw into rows, wind rows that are easier to handle for bailing or picking up with the forage wagon. It's gonna cost you $9,000, requires 35 horsepower, weighing 550 kilograms, with a four meter working width, and you can operate it at nine miles per hour. Uh, we have a design with support, and then support wheel, and then just regular support with this right here. Very nice, Crone brand here. And then we also have the Elho LK215. This is a leveler, are used to move chaff and silage and level the heaps in the silos. It's gonna cost you $5,500. It's made by Farmar I-99. Requires 80 horsepower, 3,500 liters is what it can move at once, I believe. 
Uh, 400 kilograms is the weight, and you can operate it at six miles per hour. It can move all the stuff here. It can level out pretty much anything in the game. Take a look at the customizations. We got standard set up, and then we got no guardrail. Back to standard with the guardrail. Uh, we got the brand on there, L who LKT15. We also got red or green for color options. All right, so a nice new leveler there if you're that type of farmer. You know what I'm saying? All right, up after that is going to be the trailer by train cotton bales auto load. Auto load. Right there, baby. Auto load. Semi trailers can attach to a tractor by using a dolly. A bale trailer is used to transport bales. A bale loader eases the collection of bales. This is going to handle your cotton round bales. And this does your cotton round bales as well. 238 centimeter bales. This one will hold nine. This one will hold 11. But it costs less. Imagine that. This weighs 2.9 ton. This one weighs 11 ton. Let's take a look at the first one here. So we got wheel brand lizard with wheel setup standard, wide tires back to standard. Then we have continental with standard and wide, standard two, and then wide two, and then old wheels. Those look like Dayton's and back to standard and then back to lizard. A lantern position. So we got design one. That's gonna be back here. So here's design one. Design two, back to design one. Auto load, yes, which would not require using belts. Or if you want auto load off, you want to do it manually, that's up to you. But this is an auto load functioning trailer if you want it to be, and it's cross platform, baby. All right, lanterns. We got design one, design two, design three, design four. Four different uh, lanterns or tail lights. Uh, bail separator design number one. And we got two without the the uh, separators. And there's one. I kind of like it with those. Looks cool. Tension belts do not use with auto load. So make sure if you're using auto load, you have tension belts to know. If you want them on, then yes. If you're doing manual loading. Uh, main colors, we can do all kinds of different ones. Let's just mix them up so you see which colors are what. There's your chassis color, here's your bale holders, side plates. Here, we'll make that white. Sticks up, there we go. And then rim color. Change that to black. License plate on the back left corner. Very nice. Cool trailer there. All right, and then the same thing's gonna go for this one, just a little different look style to the trailer. But it's gonna have all the same tire options, it looks like. Yep. Yep, same stuff. Very cool. This one holds 11 bales though, so you're gonna be able to hold a lot more with the second option and it's cheaper, which makes no sense, but I like it. All right, let's go move on to the next one, which is the Lizard 8 bale trailer. This is a manual one, it looks like. This is by Castor and DS Agrar Service. By the way, my bad. Uh, the one we just looked at, the auto load, this is by Servitex, Senior v Vertex, ZT Modding, and Agro Tonho. All right, I forgot to shop them out. So back to the Lizard 8 bale trailer. Uh, this is Castor DS Agar Service, are the ones who made it. It costs 3500 bucks. holds 8 bales. It says 8 bale, but then it says here it holds 18. So <laughs> it holds 18 bales, weighing 1.2 ton, and it can handle the one... 25 centimeter to 180 centimeter sized bales and I see a picture of straw but I imagine you'll be able to do hay and silage all that good stuff it's a bale trailer take a look at it here it does have auto load oh I stand corrected so you got auto load configuration standard or with the auto load function nice well there you go another auto load trailer ladies and gentlemen and then you got all the different colors of the rainbow here. You got John Deere. Too bad you can't paint those rims. That'd be cool. Uh, license plate on the rear end here. There's your tail lights, warning signs. That's cool. I didn't realize that was auto load. So two new auto load bail trailers today. All right, let's go take a look at the placeables. And we do have one update. So let's head over there right now. All right, let's take a look at the placeables for today. We have the Seed Potato Farm by Dazed. 
And this is a large arable farm with specializes in the cultivation and distribution of seed potatoes to be used by other farmers. Buildings and productions, you have a potato shed with sorter equipped with the three ULO fridges. They will keep the potatoes from, you know, until processing begins in early winter. The sorter organizes the potatoes in three different sizes, waist size, seed size, which gets used as next year's seeding material, and premium size, which gets sold off for human consumption. It's going to cost $175,000 for the potato shed with sorter. Then you have a potato bagging production, which uh, allows the emptying of potato boxes and the repackaging to either big bags for seed potatoes or 25 kilogram bags for premium potatoes. That's 37,000. You have a potato shed expansion, which offers an additional three ULO fridges and an open workspace for additional productions or machinery storage. That's 105,000. Potato shed expansion with workshop. Farmers Market Extended, Supermarket Extended, BGA 99KW Extended, vehicles also come with it. You have a HK25 front harrow with liquid fertilizer tank. Uh, you have a Grimmy GL420 that also accepts seed potatoes now. We have a Grimmy GL8600, which accepts seed potatoes. The Grimmy RH2460, it's an in-tank bunker, was modified by the farm to allow for larger potato boxes to be filled. Uh, we also got the TMCCANCELA tip 610 topper. <laughs> Gosh. A flail, which the farm converted to be a Holland topper. A potato box, an empty potato box, which accepts all bulk fill types, handy for around the farm. 500 bucks, 2,000 liter capacity. And then we got these new these uh, new products and pallets, which add waste potatoes, seed potatoes, premium potatoes, bagged seed potatoes, and then bagged premium potatoes. Whew, wow, that's a lot of potato talk. All right, I have a friend that might really enjoy all this. All right, so there's your indoors operation going on there. This is quite intense, a seed potato farm. A lot going on on this mod, so there you go. If you love potatoes, then this might be the right thing for you. All right, next up is the liquid manure and digestate drying. This is by Andreas K85 and DS Agro Service. A slurry and digestate drying station made by Lizard. Uh, the slurry and digestate drying station can be used to produce mineral fertilizer. Give in your unused slurry or exhaust the biogas plant benefits by using the digestate to increase the summary by never in need of buying fertilizer again. Ecological, economic, better feeding, it's easy as that. Price is $50,000, daily maintenance of 50, cost $2 an hour, IO ratio of 2 to 1, input slurry, digestate, 21,000 liters each, output is going to be mineral fertilizer, 30,000 liter max. So another nice little production to utilize what you have to make something you need. You know what I'm saying? Very nice. All right, next placeable after that is the horse stable with paddocks. That is by Sir Sim, a medium horse stable with larger pasture, new fence, paddocks and decoration, automatic night light above the boxes, and normal light to switch on. It holds eight horses. Price is eleven or one hundred and nineteen thousand five hundred dollars. Daily upkeep of one hundred dollars. Ooh, like those. Ooh. Very nice. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. All right. After that is going to be the placeable border stones and flower pot. This is by Agrar Danny. Uh, placeable border stones and one flower pot. The floor must be made flat in advance in order to achieve a beautiful result. So putting it on slopes is probably not going to work out too well. Looks like we got little sidewalks maybe and some other things here. Trim, curbs, make things just look, look at that. Look how beautiful. Isn't that just lovely? Isn't that just radiant? So nice, very nice. All right, and that is it. We do have one little update here on the liftable ballots and big bags. So if anybody was using this mod here, there was a change log, 1.1, 1. 1, wait, 1.1.0.0. 1. 1. 0. 0 change log this is by joss 
Uh, he has added the ability to purchase liftable production pallets from the store, ability to purchase liftable various pallets from the store, added the ability to purchase liftable big bags from the store, and added the ability to purchase liftable big bag pallets from the store. Added 2,000 liter milk tank, and the name of the mod has been updated to liftable pallets and big bags. Oh, yeah. So you'll be able to lift everything now with this. All right, here's some screenshots. You can lift everything we're looking at here. Just pick it up, throw it right in. Come on, baby. You know what I'm saying? Cross-platform. Very nice. All right. That is the end of the video. I wonder if you guys are enjoying that dirt bike from yesterday. I have been. I've put quite a few miles on it already. I use it to run around the fields to get the different tools because I don't like... Um, what you might call it. I don't like time traveling. I don't like jumping around. I like driving to all my stuff. And I've been using the new dirt bike to do that from yesterday. So very nice. <laughs> all right. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day. Enjoy all the new mods. And we'll probably catch you tomorrow. All right. It's the International Farmer. I'm signing off. Don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe. All right. We'll catch you later, man. Peace.